teacher. Is he going to play teacher? I mean, I'm not a fan of band, but if he's going to play teacher, I'm kind of into that. So <laughs> that sounded weirder than I meant it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to this next episode of Spirit Hunter NG. In the last episode we were kind of having a look around the Morocco residence again. Um, I got jump scared in a corridor and it was all a bit creepy and we found out that the corridor kind of goes around in a circle so we are I guess looking a bit more on it. Did we ever look in this mailbox? Hold on. There wasn't a lot I think for the red thing here right? Was I crazy? Am I being crazy? Oh no, look, did I get... No, not the door. I don't want the door, I want the mailbox. Rusty mailbox. I said look inside the mailbox, but there isn't anything inside. Okay, there's like nothing there then. Does it have like blood on it or something? Oh, there's no blood on it. Okay. Um, I don't remember what we were doing. Which isn't very helpful when I'm trying to play this. Uh, let's just go in. I don't remember what we were doing. Uh, we'd already looked at that stuff like that. I probably should have like worked out what I was doing beforehand before like just having a look. Oh, wasn't it? Did we need to go and get? Oh yeah. Okay, I remember what we were gonna do now. We needed to get a woman. Yeah, okay. We needed to go get a woman. That sounded a bit weird. We needed to go get Rosé. Okay, we can go get Rosé. That's why we're out the front. Uh, as you can tell, it's been a while since I've played this. <laughs> uh, oh, you're back. You're currently teamed up with Ban. Want to switch partners? We do, because we need a woman. Switch to Rosé. No problem. You're on the lookout now, Ban. Alright, I'll see you later. Rosé, stick to the mission, you hear? Alright, let's get going. Okay. And then the lump wants the mo The lump wants the mother. The creepy spirit wants a woman. There you go. Uh, the doll seems to want a mother. Hey, Rosé. Sorry, but can you handle this? Hmm... Rosé grimaces. Uh, uh, was it? Yeah, oh, it's just Rosé grimaces. But I have an image to uphold. Sorry, but we really don't have the time to care about things like that right now. Fine, but only because you're my disciple. <laughs> you're my disciple. <laughs> I know, I'm the one asking you to do this, but what are we supposed to do here? Essentially, we need the doll to feel some motherly warmth. I think an imitation, oh god, oh, I just read the rest of the sentence without saying it out loud, that's a bit disturbing. I think an imitation of breastfeeding would be best. Wait, seriously? You're going to... No, I'm not going to actually feed it. I just sleep next to it and lull it to sleep like a mother's, like mothers do. Here, like this. She's gonna get into bed with the weird spirit. This is really creepy. This got like weird on like a different level. Slipping under the blanket next to the door, Rose speaks to it as she rubs its head. Oh, you must have been so scared. It's all right now. M Mum's here with you. There's nothing to worry about anymore. The scary dream is over now. Hush now. Go to sleep. I hear a clack from the mask. Hey, Kojima. Rosie crawls out of the blanket. She's holding onto a dog mask. Obtained dog mask. It just came off on its own. Maybe this means that the doll has been released from her thoughts? Now that she mentioned it, I remember the mask coming off on its own when I gave the doll fruit. Yeah, maybe. Oh, and there, this, there's this as well. Obtained handout. What's this? It was wrapped around the doll's mouth. I assume it must have been used as a gag? The screams I heard in the tape replaying themselves in my head. Oh, this tape was creepy. I picked up the doll from the bed. 
Rose helped me and we put it back in the living room where it was originally. Okay. Can you not like do anything with the weird, with the weird thing? Uh, do we have to like put the um, dog mask on where we put like the pheasant mask here? Uh, dog mask. I placed the dog mask on the frame. I guess so. If I get jump scared again, I'm not going to be happy. Once again, the entrance to the secret passage appears. Hmm, as expected. If our working theory is correct, there should be another Morocco resident ahead. That's right. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. What's the worst that could happen? I swear to all that is holy, I'm prepared for a creepy face. Like, are you gonna jump out at me again? Like, I'm ready. Or was it just like the first time? And then it doesn't matter because you're just gonna not do it because that would not be scary because I'm like prepared for it to happen. Out the front again? Yeah. As we thought the door in the secret passage connects to the front entrance of the residence. The entrance doesn't look any different aside from the passage entrance being closed. Is that it? Is that all that matters? Um, let's see if the doll's there. No, the doll's gone. When I entered the room, I hear the sound of someone knocking on the front entrance door. Who's there? Is it Ban? No, he has a cell phone. Let's go check just in case. Let's go check the creepy noise. What a great idea. Okay. Hello? Going outside. Ban is standing around and being a good lookout. What? Looking for something? No? Hey, someone come by just now? The hell? What are you talking about? I mentioned the sound that I just heard. It kind of felt like someone was delivering the mail or something. Oh, the mail. I knew there was something to do with mail soon. Like, what was the point of just having a random mail slot that you can interact with? Anyway, so I came to check just, just in case. Well, obviously nobody's here. If the knock was that loud, then I would have heard it too. You didn't hear it? No. Nope. Well, considering everything else going on with this place, there must be some sort of reason. Maybe you should take a look out take a quick look outside yeah I'll do that now it's got to be the mailbox right because he was like sick about a mailbox digging around my hands bumped into something it's a cassette tape labeled s and a sparkler okay I understand the tape but why is there a sparkler in here looking closer I see scorch marks on the tip of the firework looks like it was lit but the flame went out before it reached the end well, the obvious answer would be harassment. Is that the obvious answer? Must be, I guess. He probably didn't talk to his neighbours much. Oh, harassment is like, like someone like shoved it in the mailbox or something. I see. Okay. Um, we're just going to go back in and like play the tape, I guess. That's what I would do. I love that that's what I would do when, you know, it is me doing these things. Um, S tape. These are normally really creepy, so let's have a bit of creep. I put tape S into the boombox. I press the play button and let out a sigh. <sighs> Me too. There's a long period of idle sounds and then a scream along with a loud noise. How could you? Why? That's so disturbing. The sound makes me gnaw my lip. I never thought it'd be so stressful just to listen to screams. I mean, it's not a fun time when you're just listening to screams, so you know. The girl repeatedly screams, give it back. I don't want to imagine what she wants back. Soon the scream grew distant and I hear a man's voice over once again. Hmm. I see. No need to worry, it's just one arm. Let's take our time and cut while I treat it. Take our time and cut it while I treat it. That's creepy. 
The sound cuts off there. <gasps> Moroku is so creepy. Sigh. I think I finally understand what this man was doing to these girls. It's clear from the other tapes that he's been cutting off the hands and legs of the victims. He re he's even saying, well, I treat it, so... He's not trying to murder the girls, so he's just has... So he has to have some objective that's making him cut off their arms and legs. I don't get it. Why the hell would anyone need to cut their arms and legs off? Obviously, this isn't a question that any sane person could answer. It is met by a suffocating silence. Let's continue investigating. I get the feeling that we are approaching the answer to that question. Or oh, does that mean we're getting like closer to like a boss battle or something? Boss battle! Mm. I mean, I can examine this again where the doll was. One sturdy bed. I wonder what caused those stains. Oh, I don't want to know what caused those stains. You never want to know what causes stains on a bed. <laughs> oh! No, oh, is, is that a monkey face? It's like a snow monkey. I find another unfamiliar doll sitting in the front of the coffee table. Here we go again. Something about this doll immediately jumps out as different. Is this one naked? Oh, no, this has got weird, especially when it's like children. That's, oh, we don't want that. We don't want this at all. This doll doesn't seem like it's wearing clothes. And just like the other dolls, there's a red stain on it. Oh, I'm going to have to touch it, aren't I? Let's touch it. Maybe I can hear the doll's voice. I take a deep breath, move my fingertips towards the stain on its back. Don't touch the naked bloody girl. That's disgusting. Here we go. Bloodometry time. I hear some sniffling and crying. Then I begin to hear a quiet voice. I want to go to school. Oh. Was she like kidnapped on the way to school or something? They never make this easy, do they? I think the voice I heard was saying, I want to go to school. But how would I make that wish come true? Uh, do we have like anything? Oh, I already rescued it. That one button. Uh, spray paint, fire, in a mask, sailor uniform, like a school uniform. Cute socks. I wonder if like the sailor uniform does anything. Because that makes me think of like a school uniform. You want a school uniform? You want clothes on? I take out the sailor uniform and put it on the doll. Sailor uniform used. I'll help. Putting clothes on the doll ends up being a lot tougher than I thought. Working together, the two of us finally managed to push the hands and legs through. My goodness, a stylist's job is exhausting. This is probably tougher because this heavy doll isn't helping us at all. I step back and look at how it turned out. The ticking of the clock and the silence continue to drone on and on. That's weird. Nothing happening. Nothing's happening. Is a school uniform not enough? Shall we teach it a lesson? <laughs> well, we didn't take her to school. Seriously? I don't want to think about taking this doll out of here and taking it to a school. The closest school is pretty far from here. Well, I'm out of ideas. It'll take me a while to come up with something else. Looks like Rosé has given up. I don't really think that Ban is going to have any ideas, but... Uh, you can't investigate this with your current partner. We've got to go back to the entrance. Okie dokies, I can follow instructions. You gave me good instructions, I will follow him. Let's go get Ban. Okay. Come on, Ban. Let's go. Hey, so how'd it go in there? You're coming to have a rosé, you want to switch? Let's switch with Ban. It's all this switching, there's no, never a lot of switching in Death Mark. You kind of just chose and kind of went with it. Rosé, you're on lookout. No problem, just leave it to me. Au revoir, I'll see you both later. All right, let's go. I assume that we'll then go and like talk to Oh god what happened there? That was a bit creepy. Uh doll wearing a monkey mask. The doll continues to stay silent, the mask still stuck to its face. What more can we do to grant this doll's wish of wanting to go to school? 
Hey, Kojima, sit next to her. Huh? What are you talking about, old man? Listen, just shut up and sit down. Also, I'm not banned. From now on, you call me Mr. Ban. You got that? Huh? Is he going to play teacher? I mean, I'm not a fan of Ban, but if he's going to play teacher, I'm kind of into that. So, <laughs> that sounded weirder than I meant it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Though it feels ridiculous, I sit down to the... I sit down to the doll... I sit down next to the door, I swear I can read, as Ban ordered. All right, let's review what we learned in our history lesson last time. So, when did Columbus make it to America? Kojima, what's the answer? Ban pretending to be a teacher calls on me like I'm a student in his class. Tss, what the hell? Uh, something about the ocean blue, all right, it's like 1492, right? Good. I'm glad you reviewed what you learnt. <laughs> Alright, next question. I'll ask you. Ban points at the doll and throws out a question. What year was the Emancipation Proclamation signed? God, that's a hard word for me to say with my mouth. <laughs> oh, the doll can you say silent? Shh, fine. I guess I can help keep this going for a bit. Yo, Ban, don't you think that question is a bit too difficult for that elementary schooler? Oh, good point. My bad. You're doing a terrible job as a teacher. What did you say? You runt? There's no way to talk to a teacher. <laughs> what kind of teacher calls a student a runt? Jeez. That's it. Come here, you little... Oh, what a fight? You fraud? <laughs> then... <laughs> then the next moment... Oh God, she don't like fighting. With a clack sound, the doll's mask comes off. Hey, did you just see that? No way. All it was was a half ass act like that. What are you gonna what are you talking about? That was a class lesson, no matter how you slice it. I was teaching my ass off there. <laughs> I'll have you know that I've got a teaching license from my college days. Wouldn't trust it. <laughs> well, as it happens, you don't count anyway. It worked. You should show some more gratitude. Obtained mon monkey mask. Hey, there's something else on the floor. Shining the light around my feet, I see. Obtained hard shoes. I don't know about the shoes, but this mask is probably for... Yeah, probably. Let's give it a try. Uh, I'm going to save you save before that. Can we save you save here? No. Oh, hold on. Oh, no. Wrong button. Come on. No, we need to do it. Save you save. I'm just being stupid, perhaps. Can you not save here? It's not gonna let me save. Whatever, I stopped caring. Okay. Is it the monkey mask we're gonna put on here? Okay. Uh, wrong button. Oh no, the right button. I'm so dumb. Uh, monkey mask. I place a monkey mask on the frame. And the entrance to the secret passageway appears. This is the same as always. I wonder if it's true for what's up ahead. I feel like Bam was trying to imply something with those words. Let's just be careful and move forward. Let's go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I step into the secret passageway and immediately notice something strange. Hey, is this? B -b 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 blood! <laughs> the walls are covered in red streaks that look like someone was cleaning off a brush. I don't think it was a brush. Is this? Is this blood? Yeah, it's time to do your thing. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do my thing. I just finished adjusting my breathing, so I reached towards a section of the blood stains. Oh, oh, oh no! Erg! A scream shrieks down directly above our heads. It's even more high pitched than the one at the entrance, and it hits me like a lightning bolt. My vision immediately goes white and all strength drains from my limbs. 
Ugh, I have to... I have to move immediately or I'll die, but do I still have the strength to escape? What happened? Oh no, shit's going down. What should I do? Head to the door in front, fall to the floor, escape the door from behind. Just go to the floor. When in doubt, go to the floor. Okay, cool. Um. Uh, no, I don't have enough time to the strength to escape. Then I should choose something that will let me stool death for even a second longer. I hold my head and fall on top of the big blood stain. Okay. Then, is this the memory from that blood? My bloodometry activates. The screaming voice disappears and I hear the high-pitched cry of a bird that sounds like it's communicating with others. Okay. Was that a crane cry? <gasps> Was it? The friendly cranes were calling out to each other. If that's the clue to stop the sound, then what should I do? Someone needs to scream. Scream, make band scream, play my phone ringtone. Uh, scream? Nope, we weren't supposed to scream. Okay. Mm. We, we need to sc try screaming too. Ah! Picture my voice as high as I can, I scream at the top of my lungs. I hold it out as long as possible. But the brain piercing screams are still as loud as ever. D -d Damn it! It's not working! Lukewarm liquid gushes out of my ears. Ugh! My sight rapidly darkens. The screaming recedes into darkness. Game over. Okay, so, you know, maybe you shouldn't... You cannot advance your current... With your current partner, you can change partners in the entrance. Okay, so... Uh, from a recent checkpoint. I assume we've got to go get Rosé, then. Uh, yeah, let's go get Rosé and see what Rosé says about this. Because that's kind of the clue. It says you can't proceed without so I'm trying to think what was the thing so you, you could scream you could get bad to scream or there was like something else maybe you need to get Rosé to scream you're on the lookout now ban see you later Rosé stick to mission you hear we already have gone through this okay Rosé we are going through creepy entrance and all the shit's gonna go down again but this time you got a scream. Does it have to be rosé? Because it has to be like a high-pitched scream, like a lady scream. Can they not do like lady screams? Make rosé, yeah. Or oh, play my f phone ringtone, yeah. Make rosé scream. Okay, so yeah, that's what it was. Cool. We just needed a, a female touch. Hey, rosé. I tell rosé to scream through gestures. Scream! Pretend you're a bird and scream! <laughs> what? It looks like my message gets through because Ro Rose rears back and screams. However, I can't hear it at all. Damn, I guess this is it. My despair turns to resignation and... Then, my consciousness leaves me. Same as me. Oh yeah, so it needed to be like a female voice then, I guess. That's all I hear as I slip into darkness. An unknown amount of time passes. Someone's voice brings you back to the, my senses. Are you awake, Kijima? I take a sec second to gather my senses. Did the screaming stop? What are you talking about? Yes, it stopped. Thanks to your advice. And well, also, thanks to my vo voice training, I never knew I could scream so loud. So that means, I see, so we're saved? Unfortunately, this is neither heaven nor the river sticks. We are still living out the current, this current life. As long as I'm alive, I don't care. Okay. 
Okay, so, okay, we passed that. May have died once, but that is fine. Anyway, I look up at the ceiling of the passageway. I don't want to look up at the ceiling. There's never, never anything good up on ceilings. That scream, it came from direct, directly above us, right? It's in the base, in the attic. Yeah, that's what it felt like. I'd guess that. There's a room above here, but it doesn't look like there's a ladder hidden anywhere. Cough, cough, cough. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, it's nothing too serious. I just strained my throat from all that screaming. I watched Rose rub her throat. I can tell that she yelled herself raw, which is to be expected after belting out a scream like that. I never expected that I would have to match a crane's cry with my voice. Some pieces mimic cranes with a shakuhachi or kokyu. Kokyu? Kokyu. But I've never heard it done vocally. Shakuhachi is that flute made of bamboo, right? What's a kokyo again? Q kokyu again. Hmm, you're a high schooler, so what a crude comparison I could give. What's a crude comparison I could give you? It's like a Japanese violin. You pluck the pull pulled strings of the bow to make sounds, so it's very similar to a violin. I see, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yes, please embrace knowledge. I, ho I also hope that you desire to learn will be reflected on your next report card. Now, let's get back to investigating. Oh, so do you think we were supposed to keep Rosé and not go back for Barn? Maybe. So she was, like, supposed to be the teacher. Was I wrong for going back for Barn at the first Who knows? Damn it, Barn, you ruined it again! Yeah, we're still running out of time. The other Miroku residents should be just ahead of here, right? True. Well, then let's go. Oh gosh, just as we thought the secret passage connects to the front entrance of the Moroku residence. The entrance here has an obvious difference to the front entrance from earlier. Hey, look. <gasps> There's three. There are more of those frames. I see. This is starting to get interesting. Let's get the masks out. At that moment, the cell phone vibrates. Right, it's almost... Pity, we're out of time for tonight. Hey, it's me. Time to get out of here. Alright, let's go back. This is pretty good for today. Let's go. Oh, but you were like so close. I'd keep going. <laughs> hey, Ban, we're back. Cough, cough, cough. Oh no, what's wrong with her? Hey, Rosé, what's wrong with your voice? What happened? Were you rocking out to something? Kijima, I'm leaving this one to you. You explain how I saved us, cough. What's wrong with Rosé? <laughs> we tell him what happened in the mansion. The three dolls and the three tapes and the screaming in the hidden passageway. That scream again, huh? Yes, but this was worse than before. It was trying to kill us. This may seem rude to Rosé, but I'm really glad I didn't go with you. <laughs> Squawking like a bird just isn't me. If it was you and me, we'd probably be dead right about now. I mean, we lived that reality. <laughs> hey, hey, give me a break. I'm not dying an unsatisfying death like that. Cough. Get back to what we uncovered tonight. Those three tapes are fascinating. Each one recorded a man dis 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 uh, dismembering a girl as she screamed and pleaded. What a grotesque hobby. However, he didn't seem like he was just a sad sadistic deviant. Oh, they're throwing me out big words today. <laughs> he sounded pretty calm and kept saying things like, I want to make it so you don't die. He also seemed to be very knowledgeable about what he was doing. So it's pretty like that Moroku's on the tape. Before he became a ch children's author, he wanted to be a surgeon. The docs connect. If I recall, Moroku wrote horror-themed fairy tales. I'm quite curious to see how he tied the dismemberments into his work. I'm absolutely fine never knowing the answer to that. I've read some of his major works myself, but there wasn't anything as weird as that in them. I don't know about his other books, though. Most of this stuff is out of print. It seems we'd be more likely to find his insanity and inquisitiveness in his minor works, then. Hey, Kojima. 
From what I heard from Van, your aunt's also a horror novelist. You don't mean. You want me to ask her about y Yakumo Moroku? She might know some dark tidbits that only someone who travelled his travelled his circles would know. We we are we won't know unless we try. See what happens when you ask her casually. Whatever. All right, it's up to you. All right, enough chatter for today. Time to split up. Getting called in for questioning would be a real pain. All right, it's all up to you, Kajima. Au revoir. Okay. I say goodbye to them and return to Kasuji Station, heading over to the Black Rabbit. I wonder if Aunt Azumi will be there. I wonder indeed. <gasps> On that note, before we talk to Aunt Natsumi, I'm going to end this episode here. <gasps> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye!